golden dragons. A ship? <laughs> per man. I could not produce such a coin, even if I wanted to. Again, you plead poverty. It is hollow stuff from the mouth of a Lannister. Those very stables and sculleries are carved into a mountain of gold. And we will need it before this war is done. Break the blockade and it will benefit you. Do you think that we lack for buyers for our tapestries and perfumes? We sell where we please, blockade or no. Essos is as rich as it is vast. It seems you need us more than we need you. The Stepstones. What of them? Do us the Stepstones. Smattering of rocks. Hardly a sacrifice to the lords of Westeros. It, those rocks have been disputed for a generation. Your pirates have waylaid ships, taken slaves, cargo. Give them to us outright if you prevail. And all that will cease. We will impose a simple tax on those passing through. Recoup the losses we took fighting the Valarian hordes. Extortion. You will drive up the price of basic goods. It is better than starving, surely. A fleet of warships, then. Sailing at your command, they would break the blockade mm. and hold the passage. Very well. Prince Regent may have me hanged for this. With the armada we send now, you can topple the Prince Regent and sit the Iron Throne yourself. <clears throat> of course, there is one more condition. Oh. I was rather set on a bath in a flagon of wine. The commander of our fleet must agree to go with you. His name is Lohar. The sailors are fiercely loyal to him. If, if he does not lead them, they will not fight. Very well. Let us meet this commander, then. <clears throat> Admiral Lohar. This is Tyler Lannister of Casterly Rock. Well met, Lord Tywin. Uh, it's Tywin. What sort of man are you? I beg your pardon? A poet. A philosopher. I am the master of ships at King's Landing. You're thin. But also tall. I will not sail with a man who cannot best me. <laughs> at, at what? 